Hey guys, this is Sam for Sambo Star Mose. Um, this is what would it be an April update video? Um, I didn't see that I could um, do a video of me um, completely doing a project in the foreseeable future, um, well, the next week or two. So I figured I'd do an update video to show you how um, and what I'm doing. So if you come over here, I'm actually making a tree out of wires. And if I remember to put a link or uh, something in the video, um, you'll see a video going to Luke Toen, and um, he's a great uh, train modelist, and um, he um, made a video on how to make these trees, and I'd really recommend it. The trees, um, the way I did it, was instead of using um, individual wire, I used copper wire from inside an extension cord that I tore apart that was gonna need thrown out. Over here, I have some tires drying with paint and those two. Um, I also have um, two steerable axles drying here. Oops, that one's still wet. <laughs> um, and those go for some tractors over here. One is a Case Agri King that I did an interior of, and I'll probably do a video on this one when it's done. Um, not too much going on there yet. Then over here, I have a John Deere 7610, which is actually for a buddy of mine, uh, Noah, and this is going to have its own video, um, and everything, and multiple other videos within it, um, so that's how that's going, cat glass, everything looking pretty good, and um, I have some parts I'm going to put in those, in there, I guess, oh dear, that paint is wet too, and over here, I have, um, the John Deere Combine that's gonna have another video on probably of the grain storage area but right now I've been working on the wheels I got an axle in there I got these wheels um, from Matson Miniature they're actually for a four-wheel drive tractor so they are a little snug in there and if this was real if this is real life you definitely wouldn't want that size in there uh, but I did sand them down to wear them down and that's looking pretty sweet too I've been able to clean up my workbench since the video of the ranch truck um, because now my workbench is nice and clean. I got pretty messy after I was um, working on that ranch truck. And that video was um, more of a voiceover where this one's uh, live uh, audio. And um, so I don't know how people are liking that. Um, tell me again in the comments. I might even put a vote in. Then in here, in the crawl space, you can see my farm display in the background, which I have um, pretty much junk on. And um, right here, I have some foam board. And I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to make me a farm display um a new one which um if you guys want um just uh, push a comment i will make videos on making it i got a two inch we did have to cut it and have to get it in the a car um uh, we wouldn't probably have had to but i was gonna have to cut it anyways because i'm gonna cut it in the mini displays sorry about the darkness um but over here i have a tobacco shed I drew out for the display in the shop there. Down here is the barn, and over there is the house and the garage. Over there's a lane, and the far end is one I already made. I just kind of drew it on there to show. I was also excited that I got this nice light um, for my workbench and a little, uh, what do you call this, thing where you plug the stuff in so you can see it's dark. And then when you turn the light on, it's like dramatic. I had um, this old light hat hung up, which, oops, worked good, but not um, as bright as this one. And you can probably guess that um, a ball of this size wouldn't do as good as something that big and bright. So that will allow for better video quality and um, lighting in all the videos and uh, just make it more enjoyable to watch. So that wasn't much. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and show you what I was working on. Um, if you're watching this, uh, right after it was, uh, released, uh, I hope you had to have be Easter and, uh, Springs here, so that's always exciting if you live in the United States or Canada area, I guess, uh, North America, I guess that would be, yeah. If you happen to be one of those people watching it, um, way after it was released, uh, well, thank you for watching, um, both ways, um, but, um, this will be a way that you can kind of see multiple projects in one and watch in one video and then you could go um watch your separate project views because uh, they'll probably be released later just to tell me what you think about me uh, making videos on a farm display if i remember which i'm not very good at i will put a poll in the video and just thanks for watching uh thanks for wanting to stay updated um 
if you like this style of video, um, also put that in the comments. This is just kind of like a catching up video, just trying to tell you what I'm working on. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, come again. And I'm Sam from Sambo Stop Most. Thanks for stopping by.